What's going on guys, Tony here, CCXRC. Today, we're gonna to be building a uh, crawler course out here again. The proving grounds are coming back here in the backyard. The boys and I are gonna do it. We're not gonna film the build process. I'm just gonna maybe show some of the stuff at the end because I'm gonna be teaching them how to do skill saws, nail guns, chop saws, all that kind of stuff. And I want them to keep their digits. So uh, just not gonna get the camera out, phone out, any of that stuff. We're gonna focus on keeping everything safe, keeping the protective goggles on, and get to it. So I'm grabbing the tractor, gonna head out there and uh, get to cutting. All right, these are our weapons of choice right here. Ryobi power tools, all battery powered so we can get out there and work. Alrighty guys, we have the John Deere loaded up with all of these little trail obstacles that we made today. The boys and I were busy cutting, sawing, whatever you wanna say, nail gunning, all that kind of stuff building these kind of crazy contraptions to go over. So I'm gonna take it to the backyard now and get it set up. Ooh, ah, yeah, boy. All right, I just lost part of my load. Had to go back for it. All right, so got it all. Ooh. We're out here with these awesome Axial rigs. We've got the 1.9 Wraith and the uh, Axial Capra. That's the ready to run version. Both of these are ready to run. We're gonna take them, try them out on the Proving Grounds 2.0 we're working on. It's adaptable. We can pick things up, move them, shift them around like this, flip this one around, bring them at angles. This one is got supports and so does that one, but they can be changed. Here's the old Proving Ground sign from the original one that we worked on a couple years ago that just kind of went to neglect and Actually, they're just lined up against this fence. We're gonna give it a go, have some fun, and give it a try, right? All right, here we go. First day since we built this. These are the old ones, so we did not have the width of the capra to judge at that time. So it's a little bit tricky. Great for the uh, SCX 10 size width. Capra's just a little bit wider, so it barely fits on here. But we're running the Axial Capra and then the 1.9 Wraith is what he's running. He just made it all the way, first try. Going backwards. This is my first try going the backwards direction. I already went the other way. We just want to give it a go. A lot that way this way? A lot um, it's easier? Plus, yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah. So, my width, you can see it's built for it. But we, we did it so that the inside would still line up for the uh, SCX 10 models. Wanted to get a little bit of axle twist in places where we could. Step down. Yeah, it looks pretty good on there. Right up again. Ooh. How am I doing on this tire? I'm doing all right. Up. Really kind of hard when you get up there. <clears throat> right yeah, up on here? Yeah. Getting that top hurts. Hard for my body because my wheels oh, aren't too tall. My, wa my wheels aren't so tall so they hit this when they try Oh to yeah, you've got a front bumper and stuff. Get up on that. Maybe. Oh, that's a good okay. There it goes. <clears throat> now we'll spin around and go again. You want to go this way this time, buddy? Oh, you want to do it again? I don't want to do it again. All right. So you can see it's perfect for his width. It's not that much narrower. Still pretty tight fit on there. Nice and smooth. Look at that thing go. These are such great, great trucks right here. The 1.9 Wraith. Out of the box. This thing is, no, 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 no hands. Give it a little punch. Turn your wheel a little. Nope. There, now go. Oh, we might lose it. All right, we'll give it that little hand. Little hand up. That part hasn't been attached yet, so it's kind of wonky. Whoa. Uh oh, back her up. Uh oh. Back her up. We're gonna start again. I did. Yeah, you gotta make sure you get this tire up on this one. 
know, you have to keep your tires lined up with that wood right there so it doesn't go in. There you go. That's nice. Woo. Oh, you missed that one. I think you can get around it though. Oh, it's going to hang up on the axle. You got to get up on there. You get to turn that front tire in, slowly get it up on there. There you go. Straighten it out. Beautiful. That's it. There's a hard part next. Yeah, so you probably have to come at a little corner. So turn wait, to your wait, right. Wait. Oh, you got it. Let's see it. Oh, turn the other way. There you go. Start I'm turning. Gonna it, I'm gonna it. And no problem. Now we'll go the other direction. Now I'm going to take it first. Okay. It's going to go first. I'll follow behind. Just don't look at Hello. Are you in there? There it is. It's hung up a bit. I'm trying to go at He's able to go a little faster, faster than me. I'm trying to go a little bit faster because whoa, I don't want to <laughs> get you behind. That's all right. I'm having a hard time keeping up. You're going faster than I go. That's because I'm trying to go faster. Nice. <gasps> no problem. No problem. Not one problem, man. Oh. Oops, I'm about to fall off. So I'm just on the... I could even probably ride this whole rail. But it's just on that edge. Just put them up next to each other and see what the width is like. got way too much throttle. Well, that's about to fall off. I know, I gotta get it over. It's barely on. There it is. It's gonna be hard if you get up to the... Alrighty guys, so that is it. A quick look at the course here and it's doing pretty good. We'll be able to make changes to this as we want pretty easily. So uh, it's all movable and it allows us to have options when we get tired of it. So thanks for tuning in as always. Go out there and have fun RC and guys, we'll catch you in the next episode.